three, two, one. Hi guys! Ooh, Jesus, that was loud. Hi guys, Colzy. Today we're going to be looking at this item that I have here, this little thing that you can't see because my hand is covering it. Occasionally, I get emails from companies uh, contacting me uh, saying, hey, we've got some stuff. Would you like to look at it? Sometimes it's completely unrelated and it's like, it's a solar powered light for your garden. And I'm like, no, how am I supposed to make an interesting video about that? However, sometimes companies contact me and they have an item that I think, actually, maybe I could make a video out of that and maybe that is something useful that I would like to have. Today is one of those videos, so don't worry, there are no solar powered lights included in this video, so you'll be happy about that. But this is the item today, it is called a J33 Bluetooth receiver. Now, what is special about this? Well, it's a Bluetooth receiver, so if you know what a Bluetooth receiver is, basically it will receive Bluetooth sound it is for audio uh, and it is uh it's this i don't think it's very expensive can't remember how much it is on amazon i think it was like 12 pounds maybe i will put a link in the description where you can go check it out i'm gonna open this right in front of your faces so you can see me opening it i haven't opened it yet oh look we've got a a weird jack thing double-ended jack the problem is it wants to focus on my face Whatever, it's a double-ended jack. You can kind of see it here. I'll just zoom it in on the video. Yeah, it's, it's a jack at both ends um, and it's made of metal. This is the Bluetooth receiver. I caught it, it's fine. So this is it, Bluetooth receiver. It's got a volume up, volume down. It's got a USB-C charging and it's got a, a play slash call button uh, and the jack hole. Jack hole? Maybe we don't call it that. Uh, what else do we have in the packet? We've got cables. Cool, so we've got USB-C to USB-A, normal cable, and then we've got jack to jack, jacky jack, jack boy cable. I guess that's depending whether you want to do, you want this to have a long cable in it uh, to come out, or whether you just want to use uh, the double-ended jack uh, and then just like pop it in like that. Why do I go with this product and decide to make a video on it? Well, instru instructions. Instruction. That's not the reason. The reason that I decided that, hey, actually, this might be an interesting video is one, I would like one of these for my car. That is not why I made this video. The reason that I did this is because normally when I do my videos, I wear this headset. I really like this headset. It is a HyperX, was it Alpha Cloud One? Something like that. Cloud Alpha? And I really like these headphones. Like if these break, I will immediately buy these headphones again because I really like them. But as you may notice, oh look, it's got a cable to it. Oh no. To be honest, the cable doesn't really bother me. I'm, I'm quite happy using a, a cabled set of headphones. Uh, I'm used to it. However, nice thing about these headphones is that you can actually just unplug the cable. So if the cable breaks, your headphones aren't screwed. With a lot of headphones, unfortunately that is the case. If the cable breaks, your entire headset needs to go in the bin because the cable is not removable, at least not easily like that. You'll have to like unsolder it and stuff, which is just not fun. Because the cable is removable from these, I figured, hang on, my computer has Bluetooth. These headphones have a jack that you can jack into. This is a Bluetooth receiver. Could I turn these headphones with this Bluetooth receiver into a wireless set of headphones that I could game with? I haven't tested it, so this video is actually genuinely just a completely live test. And we're gonna see if that is the case. It's a great way of turning whatever you want that has a jack in into wireless stuff. Listen to this. It's a fun button to click. It's a very clicky button. I like it. The double jack is not going to work because the hole is too deep. The hole in the headphones is too deep. So I can't use the double, double ended jack, which is a shame because I like the double ended jack. It's weird and I like it. So we're going to go with the cable. Le cable, le cable. It means that this Bluetooth boy is going to dangle. But I mean, if we actually wanted this as a permanent solution to turn a really nice pair of wired headphones into wireless ones, uh, then what we could actually do is stick it in some way. You could just stick that there with a bit of tape or something if you really wanted to and buy a shorter cable if you really wanted to. I think I've hit a snag. I'm not sure that even this cable could fit in there. So even though the lovely Cloud Alphas, I think they are, the HyperX headset is has this removable cable, you can see that this gray bit, that's a gray bit just before it hits the jack. Uh, that's quite skinny. It's a very skinny looking cable compared to this one, which may prevent us from plugging it in. I think if I had time and effort, I could probably like shave this down so that uh, you could you could shave a bit off here and cut a bit off here so they actually would fit. However, I'm not gonna do that because I'm not gonna destroy a cable. So maybe I can just, instead of using, 
instead of using the included cable, let's try using the, we're using the, the just the Cloud Alpha cable, which I realize doesn't really, really remove the whole, really remove the cable, because now the cable, well, I guess it removes the cable and the fact that like, look, I can come over here, look, I've got all my cable, it's a, it's a big cable. But technically this should still work from this distance. Again, if I buy the correct cable, I can make this shorter and stick the thing there. This is just a, a test of... This is just a test to see if it actually works. Because if this thing doesn't even work, then what's the point of it? How do you turn it on? Didn't even think about that. Hold on, but look, your colors. Right, so I assume blue-red means I want to connect to something. Boy, I've lost you. Boy, found him. Found him, he was at the end of the cable. Who'd have thunk it? I know I'm not recording my screen, but you don't need to see this, it's fine. Ooh, J33, J33, it's definitely called a J33. That's me, that's me, that's the device. Apparently I picked up four devices. It said connected in my ears. She said it, and now look. It's now just flashing blue, so we're connected. I'm gonna click play on this video, and if I click play on this video, it should play. Hi guys, Colsey. Today I'm gonna be giving some advice why this- It works! marketing these PCs, what? and people get caught out by it for this, I can still and are hear disappointed. It. What I'm talking about is the what I'm talking predominantly about eBay, is predominantly but also Amazon, Amazon for PCs. See, I'm the way they market myself. it told you the completely word they use. <laughs> I'm completely wireless, he says holding super fast. It's all of these wires. In theory, it works. Unfortunately, um, the only cable I have that seems to work is this massively long cable. I wonder if I could use a shorter cable. This is technically still connected. Like you can see that it's still flashing blue. So I can plug this into something else. Like if I had a speaker. I don't think I have a speaker. However, I am noticing that behind me, my parents appear to have some sort of turntable. And if I'm spotting correctly, it says aux in. Well, I'm, I'm right. I'm going to go fudge with that. I've got this little, little like splitter cable, um, which I use for, for more than one headphone when I want to have more than one headphone. Just see if this is skinny enough to plug into here. Ooh, well that actually feels right. Okay. <gasps> we get to use the double-ended jack. Right, double-ended jack. In. God, I'm like a, like a kid's TV presenter. I'm like, look at this. Look at me do the thing. Right, plug this in here. This is a significantly shorter cable. Does it still work? They just stick Fortnite in there as well. They're not great PCs. Even though they're if you're this really is all the cable I have. Have a really good experience and, and get into PC. This games. is it. I, I can still hear the computer. Of... What I could do: double-ended tape, bit of Velcro, tape it on there. So you could definitely buy a shorter cable and put it on. I really like this. this is, I just It's just fun to dick around with this stuff, in my opinion. We've still got this, though, and I'm still curious about that turntable back there. Look. See this? It's got an aux in, which in my brain says it plays music. Of course it plays music. It's a turntable, bro. I'm going to plug this in, see if we can't get it to play through here. I don't know why. We're going to try it. Just, just briefly. You know what's very annoying about this this temporary office at my mum's house I'm using is that it has this many plug sockets. And when I say this many plug sockets, I don't mean one double socket. In this entire room, there is one single socket everything is plugged into. And now I've got to reach into the corner of the room to plug this bad boy in too. Uh, as you can see, it is spinning. Bluetooth receiver. Aux in. It's in the aux in position. I don't know what happens now. It's not spinning and I've turned it on. So, explain why uh, I don't think that they're a good deal, why I know that they're not, uh, and then also give you some suggestions from my pals over at Fierce. It's playing, it's some people get I'm playing out of a turntable. There is a reason. believe in them and they are genuinely a very good this is how i'm gonna play games and uh, my speaker is from now on gonna be a weird turntable <laughs> right well that'll do so it totally works plugged into this this thing solid just works i think that was a great way to show off this little bluetooth receiver now i am probably going to use this in my car like i said but the fact that it is so little i can literally just whip it out and take it anywhere if for example i wanted specifically to be able to use my headphones 
wirelessly, a particular use case that I have thought of for this. If I wanted to do a video where I'm using my, my sim racing setup, then it's easy a way for me to have headphones uh, than using the long cable. It gets that cable out of the way. So this would be a good use for that. There might be a perfect case for you and your life and your setup that you want to use this for. I don't know, fun little video, silly little video, a uh, cool little thing, cool little Bluetooth receiver. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description if you want to go grab it. Uh, just a cool little thing. And you know, thanks to the guys for sending me it. Like I said, I don't always, you know, take these products when they're offered to me because sometimes they are completely unrelated. Whereas I think this is actually useful because I can actually turn a really nice pair of wired headphones that I like into wireless headphones that I like because I like the fit and feel and sound of a headset. Uh, but also apparently, if you've got a random turntable sat in the background with an aux in, you can play all of your sound through a weird turntable. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more of these weird videos where I just get some piece of weird tech and find a funny way to use it or a useful way to use it or a different way to use it. Let me know in the comments because uh, I like doing these. Anyway, thank you guys and I will catch you next time.